Hello, hello, everybody. Hola a todos. Bienvenidos. Welcome to the second part of the Santuario Paso a Paso tutorial series. And like I promised, I did remake the tutorial part of the first video as my voice was so gone with the microphone. But I also uh, recorded the first and this part normal version but with the with the good microphone for that so uh, I hope you like this video I hope you benefit and enjoy if you do thumbs up and see you in the next video hey and also Remember to press the bell icon to get notified when I upload a video. It's pretty nice. So let's start from the very beginning. If you already learned this from the first video, you can just skip into the second part of this video or the actual video views. This is a remake just because uh, my voice didn't, didn't come through that much or that easy. And now I'm using a little different, little bit different microphone here. So. Let's start with the uh, with the number one. So you have your middle finger on the second fret of the third string. Then you have your thumb on the fifth string, and your index finger on this third string here. And you play it like this. And this is one. And then you take this chord, which is a C chord here, but you only take with your ring finger the third fret of the fifth string and the first fret of the second string with your index finger here. So now you have one, two, and then the three, you move these fingers here. So the fourth string and the third fret, and the first string in the first fret. So one, two, three, and here comes a legato. So you do it like this. So you just visit here on the third fret with your little finger. So one, two, three, then comes the remate, and you for that you have your E major chord here. You only need to take these two index on the first fret of the third string and middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And then you start with a thumb on the sixth string and then play strings uh, three, two, one like this and then you follow with your thumb and you do a golpe on this 
right. And the and the first string here is played with the index finger. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is four. Then we do the exact same thing as in the beginning, this one, but we play it like this. So here you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's your first cycle. One, two, Then to the second. One, two, three, and that's uh, exactly like before. But then instead of the remote, you take this chord here. So you have your middle finger on the third fret of the sixth, sixth string, and index finger on the second fret of the fifth string. And your ring finger on the fourth finger, F, on the fourth string, uh, on the third fret. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here you do. You start with the sixth string here, and then you play the third third string with your index finger and then again you follow with your thumb and go up here and then the first string with the index finger so one two three four five six and then you go uh, and take this kind of chord here. So you have your index on the first fret of the sixth string, and your middle finger, or it could be also ring finger, but I use middle finger here on the second fret of the third string. So seven, eight, and then you take again the C here, but you only, only take this. So seven, eight, nine, and then there's the legato as well, just like here, but it's here. So nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then the ten, eleven, twelve is the normal remate like we did before. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, shit, shit. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two. From here, you hold this chord of the remate. So 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3. So here you do a arpeggio, and you have, you can see from the camera there, where the fingers are. So 1, and then 1, so on two you switch to this chord. You can probably see it here. So one, two, three. And the three is a golpe, like on the accent. Three. One, two, three. And from here, it's the same pattern, but with the C chord. 
So start with the arpeggio. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here is four, five. So the five is uh you play the fourth string with your thumb and then you hammer on with the ring finger here. So and then you play the open string, the third string here with your thumb, with the golpe. And after that, you do this with your middle finger here on the second fret. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you hold this same chord here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is the two chords you use here. After the, after the 12, uh, you do this kind of rasgel, which is thumb up and middle finger, ring finger down, or all this. So, and then back back up with your thumb. So, thumb up, uh, ring finger, middle finger down, thumb, thumb, uh, thumb down, and thumb up. So, on the E chord here. E major. And basically this uh, thumb up here is the one of the next cycle. So if you play like 12 1, 12 1, 12 1, 12 1, 12 1, 12 1, 12 1, 12 1, 12 1, 12 And then you simply do a hammer on with your little finger to the third fret uh, on the fourth string. So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can practice this by doing it. Uh, you can do a, a complete cycle, for example. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Accents are here indexed down and golpe, and all the other uh, numbers or beats are index and middle finger down. Okay, and then you can practice uh, to make it uh, a hammer on and pull off. So After the downstroke, you pull it off. Okay, so after you, you practice that a little bit, uh, you can return to this. So. That's the next cycle. So you basically do a colpe on each of the accents and then uh, you do the hammer on first on the first half and the last half you do a, a hammer on pull off. So. <laughs> and then we go to the next cycle 
which is uh, on this chord. You can have your thumb on the fifth or maybe the sixth, sixth string. Depends how you like the sound or do you want to include this in the, in the, in the chord. But, but basically you do a rasgeo and it is a uh, little finger down, ring finger down, middle finger down, index finger, in, index finger down, and index up, which is, which is a continuous movement. And that's basically one, So one and two are the rasgios here. One, two, three. And then you switch to C chord and move your uh, thumb on the sixth string and uh, play it uh, the same way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the first half. One, two, Then you go back to this chord again and you play seven, eight, nine. So the seven is the rasgio, seven, and then golpe and downstroke on the eight, but you also take the third fret of the second string with your little finger here. So seven, eight, and nine is you take your index finger here and take the first fret of the first string and it's a downstroke and a golpe and that's nine and then you pull it off nine and then a remate Ten, eleven, twelve. so one Here, you don't play the first string uh, after the remate, but you leave it here. 10, 11, 12. Because then you do a uh, tremolo here. And that's index finger, then ring finger, middle finger, in index finger. So, And you have your thumb ready on the fourth string and have this chord here, which is the E major, just like before. And then you play all these four strings down with your thumb. Like that. And this down stroke here is the one. So, 12, one, two, Three. So basically it's one, th two, three. So there's a legato here. You can actually practice it like this a little bit. That's the last cycle of the first part of this tutorial series, and I hope this this uh, helps you helps you even more. I think the cameras is a little bit better now, and my voice can be heard better. So. Uh, how you play it and one two three four five six seven eight this is important seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then <clears throat> we can move into the second part 
of this tutorial series. And here you start. Uh, you have basically okay. Let's let's show it like this. So you remember this chord. Uh, you can practice uh, with the left hand a little bit, going to uh, this first and third fret on the first and second string. But you hold this this chord here. basically start uh, with your ring finger on the third fret of the fourth string here, played with the thumb, and then you play the third fret and the second fret uh, here on the first string with your little finger and your ring finger. So let me demonstrate. And that would be one, So one, two, three, and then you play this with your. And here, here it's good to note that after after this, uh, you play always the strings accordingly uh, with your thumb on the fourth, and the index finger on the third, and uh, middle finger on the second, and your ring finger on the first string. So, and here you do a legato, and this is three. So, one, two, three, and then four is uh, you take the third fret with your little finger of the second string played with your middle finger here and then you take the first fret of the first string with your index finger here so three four three four so one two three four and then five is five so you play these two strings and you have your ring finger on the third fret here, on the fourth string, and the first fret of the second string with your index finger here. And you play it with the thumb and the middle finger, and then the first string with your ring finger. So one, two, three, four, five. And from here, you take your index finger off, but you hold this one here. So first you do a legato. And after the legato, you play the second fret of the third string and the first fret of the th uh, second string. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is six, seven, and then eight. Uh, on eight, you take a little bit different chord here. You move your ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string. And then you have this here. your index finger on the first fret of the third string here you play it with your ring finger arpeggio here but then you have your little finger on the third fret of the fourth string and then you play it like this and then comes the remate so nine Sorry, 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 it's eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now we have the first cycle here. 
Okay, so then starts um, a little bit more tricky part, uh, but let's break it down. So the second cycle goes like this. Uh, I'll just play it first. And let's just try to break it down first. So. One, one, two. So this is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you have all the time your thumb on the fourth. And in, uh, index on the third, uh, middle on the second, and ring finger on the first string here. So they don't play other strings in this in this uh, part. So except for the left. But let's take it again. So one. So you do a legato here from the third to the first, and then a zero. And then you take right after that the third fret of the second string here. So, and right after this, you do a legato, but with the first and uh, third frets here on the first string, and with your index and uh, little finger here. So that's one, two, three, four. So after after the uh, after the ligado, one, two, and then three. This is three. And after this, uh, the three here, you hold this chord, and it all revolves uh, around here. And on, on your the stuff you do with your little finger and index finger here and of course the right hand so let's try to go forward one two three four so this is three four then you hold this chord here so three four five so this is five so you play first string and then the second string with the ligato three four six three four five and after the five you take this uh, fourth string here as well and six six so one two three four five six okay This is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here you play the eight is uh the fourth the fourth string and the third string played like this. Okay, 
so that's one of the harder legatos to learn in this song but all the other legatos are almost the same with some little changes but once you know the first one that well uh, there shouldn't be any problem in the other ones there's for example one one variation of it so now we have the first two cycles here one one From this remote, 10, 11, 12, we go again here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is this 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 we did before already. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on here, you take this chord. And it's and from here you proceed to do a legato like this. So you start on the first fret here on the first string with your index finger and and then you take it down uh, with these fingers accordingly. Middle finger here. And index finger here on the third. So, wait, sorry. And then the remata. So, then the cycle, the full cycle goes. Again, you leave it here because again the next cycles one will be just like before so one Okay. What the? F what is this crap in my shirt? God damn. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now it's the last part of this tutorial, or the last last cycle shit so that's So that's basically almost the same as before, but instead of doing legato all the time, you do, and you switch on this chord, and you play a gold and a thumb down stroke, and always the first string on the up stroke here.
then starts the next cycle. Which will be on the next episode. Okay, so let's just go through it again here. So one, uh, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, Thank you.